Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Most Merciful, to all of our viewers out there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, and thank you for joining us again in the intersection of faith and reason, where our guest is Dr. Ja'far Sheikh Idris. Dr. Ja'far, it's a pleasure to be with you, sir, and thank you for being with us here today. Uh, in the previous episode, we talked about the Creator and how we get to know Him through His creation and through His revelation. And we spoke about His revelation, and at this point, we would like to speak about the people who carried this revelation and shared with mm -hmm. the rest of humanity, mainly the mm -hmm. prophets of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. um, I sometimes say to myself, uh, let me imagine that I was living at the time uh, when the Prophet was, uh, was sent. And I was an Arab living in, in, in Mecca. This man called Muhammad comes and says that he is sent by God. He is a man f 40 years old, and uh, I have some knowledge of him. I know that he is uh, a truthful person. He was called the honest. So uh, I have no reason to to tell yeah. him that he is telling a lie. But still, I would say to myself, uh, perhaps I would ask him, did anyone before you claim that he was the prophet uh, of God, or are you the person who was making <laughs> this first claim? <laughs> for, 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 for the first time. He said, mm -hmm. no. I am not, uh, I, am, I, I, I am in a chain of uh, previous messages. Just, just let the last one. I mean, yeah. So I say, okay, if some people before him claimed that he was a prophet, yeah. this makes me more inclined to, to, to believe him. Mm -hmm. um, then I would say, uh, were those people followed by you know, some people? Did they believe him? He says, yes. Uh, and he gives me examples of how uh, people followed Moses and Moses. And now, uh, in principle, I would say, uh, God sends prophets. Mm. And I would say to myself, this is as, he, as it should be, as we said in one of the previous episodes. And if you know, if I know God, then I would self, say to myself, uh, it is God who is providing me with everything that I need for my material life. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, God is wise. He knows that my, my, my soul is more important than my body, so he would not uh, provide me with um, things that uh, for the keep up of my body and neglects my soul. To neglects my soul. So in principle, I would, uh, I would say to myself, I believe that there must be, therefore there must be prophets and there must be messages from that uh, creator. My question now is, is this about this particular person? Mm -hmm. Is he one of those uh, prophets? Did Allah, did God send him? And I say to myself, this man is a very honest person. Um, he tells the truth. I don't think he's, he, he's a liar. As someone said, uh, you remember that story of Abu Sufyan and uh, was it uh, Heraclitus or something? No. was uh, arguing with him, and he asked him about uh, whether the prophet uh, was uh, uh, truthful or so, mm -hmm. and he said yes. And this man said something very interesting. He said um, he would not uh, abstain from telling lies to people, and then... Would lie against God. Yeah, yeah and you don't become uh, truthful for 40 years, and then make the biggest lie in the world <laughs> and say that God sent you and, and he didn't uh, send you. So I would uh, therefore uh, believe in him. Uh, now my, my, my faith in, in him would increase when I look around and I see uh, that some of the best people that I knew also followed him. Mm -hmm. And by the way, uh, this the orient the famous orientalist Montgomery Watt mm -hmm. in his book uh, the road to Ma uh, the Muhammad at Mecca made uh, something very interesting mm. he made a study of the people who followed the prophet mm. when at first I think it was 40 of them and he 
discovered that they were the best people in town mm. as far as their uh, character, uh, reputation, yes, and all that. Uh, so mm. I would say to myself, uh, I'm in the company of Abu Bakr, I'm in the company of Uthman, I'm in the company of uh, this, uh, some of the people who uh, followed uh, the Prophet. Uh, this would increase my my um, faith in him as well. Him. Then I look around and I s find that these people come from different classes. So I say to myself, they are not following him for any, any particular gain. Some of them are slaves. Mm -hmm. Some of them are poor, some are, uh, are rich, rich, some are leaders, some are followers. Uh, and so Young, old men and women. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, old men and women. There is nothing in, in worldly and in, in common uh, between them that makes them, uh, that, that be the, their motive. Nothing worldly is the motive for uh, accepting this, uh, this prophet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, uh, then the pro this prophet tells me that he's not asking me for any reward, not from me, neither from me, nor from anyone else. Mm. His reward is, is from God. God. You know. And uh, so I say that you know, usually uh, people who are not very honest or people who are worldly minded would not uh, say it, uh, something like this. They want to ask, no. what is in it for me? No. What no. is in it for you? No. In fact, then when I join him, and I find that he was uh, persecuted, and he, in spite of this, he, yeah, and he was um, sticking uh, and he, uh, closely to his uh, to, to his uh, uh, beliefs and, and, and his message and so on. This will also increase my 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 belief in him. He had to migrate for the sake of uh, of, of his message. Uh, and then I see him practicing what he believes. Uh, and by the way, this is one of the real tests. Mm. <laughs> Some people who becomes a leader, and I know from my experience about some people who claim to be religious leaders, but when you look carefully into their you know, private life, uh, you don't find them very, to be very religious. So I find him to be uh, uh, a model of what he is saying. Mm -hmm. he, his message tells uh, us to pray five times a day, and I see him praying almost all night. <laughs> uh, he fasts more than other people fast. He gives more than uh, other people uh, give. Uh, give. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, 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 uh, he sacrifices. He, he, so uh, uh, these are some of the reasons which should make me uh, want him to follow. follow. Also, I see the good effect that he has, that he has on me and on some of the people uh, around me. Uh, now we come to, to, our, you know, yes, uh, to, to, to our times. Uh, if I am now living in in, the, in, in, in this time, I, 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 as I am living in this time, mm -hmm. and I read about uh, Prophet Muhammad, and I read what this person who followed him said, and I would say to myself, well, I have some further mm, evidence to prove that this was, this man was a true prophet. He dared to say something, which no one would dare to say. Uh, if he was not uh, a true prophet. He said, I am the final prophet. Mm. And no one came after him that proved to be a prophet like Jesus or uh, Moses mm. or so. There were, of course, false prophets there, but they were uh, shown to be uh, false. false. So this is a prediction that he made. Uh, I will call it a prediction. And it came true. And he so it's also said, that uh, his message will be preserved in, in the book which uh, he claims was uh, revealed to him. In that book, he also made 
a very daring <laughs> statement that this book will be reserved, uh, preserved. Mm. And I look around and I find that this is the only uh, religious book uh, of that has any uh, historical authenticity. All the uh, other uh, religious books, mm, and there is no historical uh, proof for the fact they w that they were the books that uh, the people who, uh, who, who claimed w were revealed to, to them that these are the same books. Uh, so even if I am not yet a Muslim or uh, a Christian, or, or so I would say to myself, I am not sure that this book is the book which Moses said was revealed to him. This is not the book which Jesus said was revealed to him. But I am now sure, at least, that this is the book which Muhammad yeah, said this was, is the book. was revealed to him. I mm -hmm. have uh, historical uh, evidence for this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that uh, a person who really knows um, God and thinks about his, uh, his attributes and his nature, this w should be enough to make them believe in Prophet Muhammad. He would say to himself, uh, God will not neglect to send us a message that guides us. And there is now no message that is claimed to be a message, a message from, the, f from God and that has this historical uh, authenticity, except the Quran. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if, if I, uh, I make the premise that there must be a message and I find no message except this, then this must be the message. Mm -hmm. I, I would say to my, myself, uh, myself this, as this man who wrote uh, the book, you told me you know the author, the man who wrote uh, the book Misquoting Jesus. Yes. Now, he came to the conclusion that there was real uh, doubt about many of the things mentioned in the Bible. And he said in his book, uh, I read some parts of the book, he said, if God made the miracle of sending us his message, why doesn't he make the further miracle of preserving that message? And I said I would write to him, I, I, and, and, and I tell him that he made that, uh, that miracle, but unfortunately you don't know about it. The message which God said, is the final message and is for all people is preserved in its original language original uh, original form and the life of the person who said it was revealed to him is the most authentic uh, biography perhaps in, in in the world so the message is is, is preserved in the form of the quran i believe bert erman is the author that is you that were it? talking uh, uh, about I yes see. and he is one of the most knowledgeable people in the theology of the new testament so Jafar, we would take a short break and we will come back we're talking about prophethood and how god communicated with humanity through them so please do stay tuned and we will be back soon inshallah <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh again and welcome back to the intersection of faith and reason with our guest here, Dr. Jafar Sheikh Idris. Dr. Jafar, we were talking about the rational arguments for proving the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One thing, and, and, and you mentioned it earlier, that I was doing a study mm. about comparing prophethood, yes. um, in, especially in the Old Testament, mm. because that's where mostly it is mentioned there. Mm. And it was um, an, 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 um, an attempt Mm. introducing the Qur'an to the Bible readers and introducing the Bible to the Qur'an readers, mm. we are comparing and contrasting characters that are found in both books. Mm. And what I found to be most interesting mm. is the Qur'anic source for some of the biblical accounts. Because some of the sources of the Bible actually do post-date Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa so part of this idea of the prophethood of the Prophet, peace be upon him, is what he has said about previous messengers mm. that were sent before him 
and how he spoke mm -hmm. about about them and it may come to us uh, as a surprise to some of our viewers out there that we Muslims do believe in the previous mm. uh, messengers that were sent mm. by God um, this idea of us Muslims believing in previous messengers including mm. Moses and Jesus and mm. David and all these yes people. in fact a person cannot be a Muslim cannot be a believer in the prophethood of Muhammad uh, if he does not believe in the prophethood of uh, Moses and, and Jesus, and if he knows them, if he knows Th this them. is this is very striking, mm. because I think the impression that people have about Muslims out there is that these are people who are very rigid. That's what mm. they believe in, and everybody else is absolutely mm. belittled and downplayed. And you're saying that no Muslim is a Muslim if they do not believe in these previous. Yes. Um, well, Muslim. someone, a, a young uh, man who became uh, Muslim, um, he told me that uh, after he became a Muslim, he went to his uh, priest. And uh, I think the, 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 there was something about the Prophet and so on. And he told the priest, uh, he said to the priest, there are now millions of people in the world who know Jesus and who respect him, and so on. And the reason for that is Muhammad. Mm. So at least yeah, for that reason, you should be grateful to, 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 to Muhammad. And, and, and in fact, because there are no uh, historical proofs, even perhaps for the existence of, of some of these uh, prophets, and because uh, the Quran is, has been proven to be the word of God and there is historical authenticity for it. It has, in, an, in my view, it is the source uh, from which we learn about earlier prophets. Sure. And, and what the Quran says about them must be uh, more true than uh, uh, some of the things that contradict what the Quran said. I, uh, uh, Yusuf told me, I think, that you made a study of uh, what is mentioned in the Quran about some of these prophets, uh, in the, in the, in the, the Old Testament, Testament about these prophets. Uh, especially uh, when I, uh, I read uh, what they say about David, mm -hmm. David, Dawood. Uh, in the Quran and in the Hadith of the Prophet, وسلم, he is a model. Yeah. And, uh, Khairu Siyam, Siyam Dawood. The mm -hmm. Prophet said that the best uh, fasting is that of, of, of David. David. He used to fast one day and break the fast uh, another day, and so on. And Khairu uh, Qiyam, uh, Qiyam Dawood. The best uh, night prayer prayers. is that of Dawood, and, uh, and so on. So f in the Quran, he was, um, uh, he, he was a real uh, a prophet, a very upright person, a model. But this is not the case. Uh, this is not the account that is given to him, uh, given of him in, 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 in some, uh, some other, uh, other, uh, other places. Sure, sure. Now, the, 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 so we're talking about uh, uh, Prophet uh, uh, Muhammad uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we're, we're trying to enumerate the reasons why uh, should a person believe in him as a prophet. Perhaps we should add to that something which we alluded to previously, that he has, he himself has good proof that he is he's a prophet, apart from what we said about him. Mm -hmm. He says that this book that I am telling you is the, is, 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 is Final the book, revelation. Is the book uh, revealed to me. There is evidence in the book itself uh, that he is a prophet. Mm -hmm. There is rational evidence in the book uh, it, it's, uh, itself that the book itself proves that it is from God and that it could not have been, as we said uh, earlier, it could not have been written by a human uh, being. So if the book he claims to be revealed to him uh, by God, if there is a proof in the book itself that it is from God, then he must be a true, uh, a true prophet. Also, uh, what he himself said as a prophet, and there he made a distinction between what he said, uh, I mean his own words and the words of the Quran. 
he 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 uh, he mentioned many things that were proved as uh, to be true, mm -hmm. uh, and and some of them are now considered to be as miracles. Uh, uh, so so all these show that he was yeah uh, he was a, 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 a messenger, true, from uh, messenger of Here's God. Also, what what I what I love about what the Prophet peace be upon him said about previous messengers is that he speaks very highly of them. Yes. In, in, uh, in a study that was made in the U.S. as to the people, as, as you know, and probably our viewers also know this, that Islam is the fastest growing religion mm. in the world, especially in the West. We usually ask people who become Muslims, you know, why are you becoming Muslim? What made you become a Muslim? And um, ultimately, we found that there are four reasons. Mm. Amongst them is how easy the creed of Islam is. It's not a very complicated mm. one. They speak about the fact that it's very diverse. You go to any mosque mm. and you find people from all over the. One thing is, majority of people who are converting or reverting to Islam, uh, Christians, they say, Islam does not discount Jesus. Mm. We come from a background that has high respect for Jesus. Mm. So when we come to Islam, Islam does not ask us to shun him away, but rather say, modify your beliefs about Jesus, peace mm. be upon him. Mm. And as such, that makes it so appealing to us that we say, we will keep mm. Jesus, we're just going to modify our mm. beliefs um, mm. about him. And I, and I believe I heard you once speak about um, the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he explained himself as being a part of a building yeah and that hadith. yeah please yeah, if, if you can go yes. into that if you can go into that he said case. he said that someone saw a building that uh, he, he liked very much except there were missing bricks in, in that, the building uh, in the building and he said i am those uh, the prophet said, i am those uh, bricks so the, the building was already there he's only a, a completion of that uh, the building. And this, okay, again, as it should be. This is how, uh, if you believe in, in, in the Creator and you know who He is, you would not say to yourself that He neglected to guide all people throughout history and until Jesus came. Yeah. And that no one can go to paradise except through, uh, through Jesus. Uh, this is not befitting, as you said, of, of the Creator. If he is the creator of all people, he will um, guide all people, send messi messengers to God. That's why our uh, conception of, of religion is, is, is very comprehensive, mm -hmm. that uh, starting even from, f from Adam, and he was a prophet. Adam was a prophet, then Noah was a prophet, all these were, were prophets. So, in every, at every time and every place, uh, according to the Quran, in ummatin illa khala fiha At every time and every place, God did send uh, messenger. messengers. Uh, and, and that explains uh, the fact that you find sometimes similarities between what people believe in, in different parts of the world. And I once went to South Africa and uh, and, and, and was introduced to some of the tribes that some Muslims told me uh, that these people believe in this, believe in this, so, so, some things that they thought uh, only Prophet Muhammad uh, came with. Uh, but these were, in fact, remnants of uh, early, uh, of early uh, mess uh, of, of messengers, of messages of earlier, uh, earlier prophets. And sometimes also some Western scholars make the mistake of thinking that when they find something in the Quran that is similar to uh, what is in the Bible or in the gospel, they say, ah, Muhammad must have uh, gotten it from, from there. But we know that Muhammad وسلم, did not even know how to read. Mm -hmm. and, and he had no knowledge of these uh, books. And there is, as some people uh, also proved, that there is something in what he says that is apparently similar to what uh, earlier prophets said. There is something in that which proves that he was not just copying from sure. there. No, sure. because he does not 
um, say everything that they said. He makes some, uh, he, he corrects, in fact, what is found in, in, in some of these, uh, these books. And I think that's what you said earlier about the idea that because of how comprehensive the teachings of Islam are, it is very easy to build bridges between yes. other people, yes. as you were clearly able to do that with some of the beliefs of these African tribes yes. down in, um, mm -hmm. in, um, in South Africa. Yes. Um, and with this, Sheikh, again, we come to the conclusion of this um, episode, hoping that you would join in us um, next time as we are pursuing this idea of the intersection of faith and reason with our guest here, Dr. Jafar Sheikh Idris. Thank you for being with us here again, Salam. and we look forward to being here with you in the coming episodes as well. With this we say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, and so long.